July 19th, our view of authority. When you were a rambunctious, mischievous child, did your mother ever say to you, I brought you into this world and I can take you out? It's common for parents to threaten their children with punishment if they misbehave. <laughs> Not all parents take it to this degree, but Children are usually encouraged to do the right thing or not do the wrong thing by being promised a punishment otherwise. But the purpose of this punishment is to train the child's thinking, to help them avoid harmful choices until they can see the difference for themselves. But sometimes children misinterpret the discipline and view it as the reason they need to do the right thing. Today we'll meet Rodney Bellew, a man who fell into sin because his reasons for doing right missed the mark. He had developed the wrong view of authority. He's here to share with us his true story on this Unshackled Daily Devotional. I rebelled against my stepfather. At 13, I began using drugs with friends. Mom covered for me, even paid my fines when I was busted. I had no respect for authority. After graduation, my cousin offered me a job in construction. He talked about the Bible, which I tried to read but didn't understand. I lived for drugs. One night, a friend and I robbed a restaurant where we had worked. The look on Mom's face when I was arrested broke my heart. Since it was my first offense, I got only six months but served 18 for fighting. My cousin took me to church when I was released, and just to please him, I raised my hand at the invitation. When I was almost arrested a second time, I promised God I would never steal again if he protected me. I never stole again. I moved to Florida and shot pool for a living. I listened to TV preachers and worried about God's judgment. When I tried to warn others about a judgment I wasn't ready for myself, they threw me out of the pool hall. Finally, I went to church and prayed for forgiveness, giving my life to Christ. He changed everything. I even wrote and asked my stepfather's forgiveness. Today, I'm married and preparing for full-time ministry as an evangelist. The Apostle John writes in 1 John chapter 5, verse 3, For this is the love of God, that we keep His commandments, and His commandments are not grievous. Friend, when we love God, our heart begins to change, and we want to follow His laws. We begin to understand how these principles help us grow in the likeness of our Savior and train our heart to seek after Him. They are not haphazard regulations thrust upon us just to prove our mettle or make our lives more difficult. They are truly good. And they are for our good. And it is by following them that we can embody the love we have for our Heavenly Father. Will you receive this truth today? Unshackled, the longest-running audio drama in history, airs on over 3,000 radio stations worldwide. Real people, real-life stories, and the hope that changes everything. This award-winning program grips the heart with compelling and relevant stories of transformed lives. Without Jesus Christ, we are all shackled by sin, by our wrong choices, disobedience, and selfish motives. But God is at work, and the power of Christ sets us free of our bondage. Listen to a new devotional every day, and don't forget to tell your friends about Unshackled Daily Devotionals.